guys, welcome back to my channel. Oshley here and happy Halloween. Do you guys like my Halloween outfit? <laughs> we were festive today at work and we wanted to celebrate and commemorate the day. So you can't see the rest of it, but it goes all the way down to the floor. So you know, honey. And then, then I wore some cute little booties. That's besides the point. I wanted to talk to you guys about what's happening tomorrow. What starts tomorrow? Tomorrow is, dun, 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 I feel like I need a drum roll. Good enough. Tomorrow, let me not fall over, is Friday, November 1st, making it officially NaNoWriMo, my favorite month of the year, my favorite time of the year. I'm so excited. So yes, I just wanted to come and basically just do like a tips, tricks video for those of you who are attempting NaNoWriMo once again, or if this is your first time, I just thought I would do like a little tips video as I do every year to encourage you and to basically talk you into doing it this year if you're on the fence. So here we go. 10 reasons that you, yes, you, will be winning NaNoWriMo this year. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Reason number one, you are going to write every day. Write every day write every day. That's right, write every day. Now don't focus so much on the word count, although it is a very particular specific word count to get to the 50,000 word goal at the end of the month, but make sure you write every single day. And don't pay attention to the word count, just write. Write, set aside 30 minutes, I would say anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes to up to an hour set aside for you to write daily. So look at your schedule. Most of us, we know what our schedule is. We get our work schedule somewhat in advance. So look at your schedule and see where you can carve out at minimum 30 minutes at max an hour. Or, you know, if you're lucky enough and you have a whole day off, you could do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours, you know? Knock yourself out. But minimum 30 minutes, max an hour each day. Set aside, no distractions, whatever you gotta do. Turn off your Wi Fi. Put your phone on do not disturb. Um, hide your phone from yourself so you're not distracted by social media. Whatever you need to do, do it. Reason number two, you are gonna find yourself some buddies. That's right, you are going to go on the NaNoWriMo site and you are going to find some people and link up with some people. Heck, you can be my buddy. I will leave my information down below because this is the best way to encourage yourself. You reach out to another fellow writer if you're having a bad day or a bad week or you feel like your story's not good enough, whatever it is, you're gonna find yourself some writing buddies and you're gonna need them, okay? <laughs> Trust me, you're, you're gonna need them. You always think, oh, I can do this on my own, I'll be fine. No, you need the encouragement. You need the sense of like companionship and also we're all in this together. You, you just, you need the support. Find yourself some buddies. Okay, now, reason number three that you're going to win NaNoWriMo this year is you are going to plot out your story. Yes, you are. You heard me. You heard me, you're gonna plot out your story now, for those of you who are flying by the seat of your pants, or pantsers as we like to call ourselves, I am a reformed pantser, now plotter. Trust me, you will thank me later. Now, I did do a live stream last week that was a Preptober planning for NaNoWriMo live stream, and I linked in that live stream in the description box a website where you could find some great plotting worksheets that have really helped me out that I found on the Writer's Digest site. So I will link that live stream down below. Go check it out if for no other reason than to go into the description box and find those worksheets. Thank me later. You will thank me later, actually. Um, I know you will because you have to plot, okay? I don't care how much of a pantser you are, how dedicated you are to pantsing. You need to have some type of direction going in because if you don't, you're gonna find yourself somewhere within the first week um, before you even hit that 10,000 word goal, just like right after 10,000 words, you're gonna find yourself lost and you're not gonna know where your story is going, you're gonna be confused and that's gonna cause you to become discouraged and that's where a lot of people give up. A lot of people give up NaNoWriMo after the first day and after the first week and we don't want that to happen to you. So you are definitely going to plot out your story, okay? Thank you. All right, reason number four that you're gonna win NaNoWriMo this year is you're not going to delete anything, okay? I talk about this every single year and I make this like a point to say every single year, do not delete, okay? That delete button, 
You don't see it. It doesn't exist. You're not going to erase anything. You're not going to delete. And you're not going to go back and reread anything. Forward. It's a forward march, guys. It's a forward march for this month. We're not going back. We're not rereading. We're not deleting. We're not crossing out. We're not doing none of it. We are moving forward, forward, forward. Do not delete. Reason number five that you are going to win NaNoWriMo this year is that you are going to believe in your story and trust your characters, okay? That's right. You're going to believe in what you're doing, what you're writing, no matter how many twists and turns it takes, no matter how things change. As you start to begin to write a story, many of you know, or you may not know, that things have a tendency to change. It's really frustrating, actually. You like have this nice little plot, this nice little idea of where you're going, and then you start writing and either your characters hijack the story or things just don't logistically work out as you're physically writing it the way that you thought in your mind or the way that you plot it out. So now the story is going in a whole new direction. There might be some new characters. You might have to like get rid of a character. I mean, there might be a new plot point or you might find a plot hole. So many things can happen when you actually start to physically write out your story. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to stop believing in your story and you're not going to stop listening to your characters and you're not going to, or you're not going to stop listening to your characters and you're not going to stop believing in your characters. So you're going to believe in your story, believe and listen to your characters. They go together. They work together. If your characters hijack the story, let them go. Let's see how things go at the end of the month. And when you're ready for that first revision, we can clean it up then. NaNoWriMo is not the time for cleaning up your first draft, okay? This is the first draft. Just, just, just let it go. The characters take us away. Reason number six that you are going to win NaNoWriMo this year is that you are going to be very, very smart and strategic about your self-care and how you plan out your breaks, okay? Now, I'm a big proponent of taking time out for yourself during NaNo. It can become very overwhelming. Please don't forget to drink water, to eat food, to take care of yourself. Whatever it is that you do for yourself that's a de-stressor, whether it's going to the gym, going for walks, going to the movies, just taking a nap, or even reading like, you know, a book that you've been waiting to read. Whatever it is, I highly encourage you to do it because self-care is very important. You don't want to get drained. You don't want to get burned out before the end of the month. It's, it's, it's a marathon, people. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So, but you got to do it strategically. So I encourage you to do those things, but don't let that take over your month. You know, don't all of a sudden start watching this Netflix show that you've been wanting to watch for months and now you're binging like the entire however many seasons of Friends. Don't do that to yourself. This is not the time, okay? We're trying to write a, a novel here. We're trying to write 50,000 words. This is not the time to binge watch Friends from beginning to end or whatever show. Fill in the blank. This is not the time. So you need to be smart about your self-care. You need to be strategic. If you're going to go to the movies, go to that movie. Don't let that, you know, spiral. Now you're going to the movies every weekend when you should be writing, you know? If you're going to, you know, take a break and, and go to the gym, like go to the gym, but don't all of a sudden be at the gym for two, three hours and all this stuff. Just be careful about the, your breaks. Take your self-care, do it, but be strategic about it. Be smart about it. Reason number seven that you're going to win NaNoWriMo this year is that you are going to set up a routine for yourself. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am very good with routines. I thrive in routines. Now, it's hard for me because my Sagittarius side is like very go with the flow and will of the wisp and fly by the seat of my pants. And, you know, that procrastination side comes in and I don't want to do things in the times that I set for myself. But then when I actually do discipline myself and stick to a routine, I find myself thriving, honey. Okay, straight up thriving. Like my anxiety is lowered. I feel full of accomplishment and purpose. There is a time and place for everything. I get way more done. I'm more efficient. I'm walking around this place like I am that bitch, okay? So routines are the shit. I just need to commit to them. So for a lot of us, it's like we know that we thrived like within a routine and we should have a routine, but it's getting to that place of actually disciplining ourselves to follow through with the routine. Well, let me tell you something. When it's NaNoWriMo time and you gotta write 50,000 words in a month, routines are gonna be your best friend. So just like I said in the beginning, to carve out a time each day to write, 
make sure <laughs> make sure it's the same time every day like it's not gonna be perfect okay it's not there's things fluctuate I know some of you guys have kids and other responsibilities so you know you got to work your schedule around them and I understand that but for the most part if you can stick to the same time every single day you will have way more success with that and you need to pick a time of day where you know you're gonna be undisturbed and your mind is gonna be the clearest so for me it's honestly 6 a.m. I know sounds brutal but it's the truth if I wake up at 5 30 take my dogs on their walk sit out their breakfast and by 6 a.m. I have my cup of tea and I'm at my desk and I'm ready to go by the time I'm about to get start getting ready for work that gives me a solid hour of writing in so by 7 7 15 ish i can step away knowing that i've accomplished my word count for the day i've done my nano business i have added to my story i've accomplished my goal i can hop into my shower i'm singing i'm loving myself i'm loving life i'm feeling accomplished i'm feeling good about myself i'm putting on my makeup getting dressed for work like i am that bitch okay and then by the time work is over I'm exhausted and I don't want to necessarily sit down and write I'm frazzled my brain is fried and I just want to sit down and and watch girlfriends I mean let's I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all that's that's how it goes <laughs> so whatever works for you I mean not everyone's life is like mine whatever time of day you for you it might be 10 p.m. at night when the kids are down or your husband finally leaves you alone or whatever the case may be I mean, your partner is busy you know you have your time so for you it might not be 6 a.m. it might be 10 p.m. it might be 9 it might be the middle of the day for those of you who are stay-at-home parents or or work from home whatever works best for you you need to be consistent and you set a routine period number eight <laughs> Reason number eight why you're going to win NaNoWriMo this year is that you're going to be organized about actually writing out your story. You're not going to have a couple chapters here in Scribbler, Scrivener, sorry, a couple chapters here in Noveler, maybe a couple chapters here in Google Chrome, in Google Documents. No, 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 no. You know, Microsoft Word, a couple. No, 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 no. You're going to pick one place for your entire story. So either you're going to use Google Docs, you're going to use Microsoft Word, you're going to use Scrivener or Noveler or another writing software, Dabble Writer, whatever the case may be, you're going to stick to one place to have everything. You're going to have it all organized. You don't have to write your story in a linear fashion. You can hop around from chapter to chapter or plot point to plot point, whatever you want to do, however your characters move you, however the, however the plot unfolds. Just Teddy, he's mad because he's locked up. You noticed the dogs weren't fighting in this video? I've gotten smarter. Okay, back to point number eight. You are going to pick one place to have everything so that when you open up that Google document, you open up that noveler page, you can see everything outlined, all your chapters outlined, all of your plot points. You can even see your plotting. Everything is in one spot, so you're not having to scramble around to see, oh, I had this in this document, and I had this in this. You're gonna put it all in one place. And it's always helpful to use a software that has a cloud, Based device because then you can write from anywhere so let's say you're out and about and you find yourself with some spare time and maybe you decide you have your laptop with you and you decide to hop into a cafe or stop by the public library or even if you're at work and some of your meetings get canceled or you have a stretch of time where nothing's going on if you have your writing saved on a cloud-based software then you can just log on and just you know get a little bit of writing in for that day and get yourself a little bit ahead for the rest of the month You'll thank me later. Hmm. All right, reason number nine that you are going to win NaNoWriMo this year. And this one might seem a little bit obvious, but honestly, it's the truth. And it is that you are going to decide that you're going to win NaNoWriMo this year. That's right, you're gonna put your mind to it. You're gonna actually speak it into existence. You're gonna, existent? Existence, you're gonna manifest it. You're gonna wake up every day and say, this year, I am, committing myself to finishing this. I am going to win NaNoWriMo this year. I am finally gonna get out that novel that I've been thinking about or that novel that I've been kind of working on, kind of not. Wherever you are in your writing process and your writing journey with whatever story is on your heart, you're going to commit yourself to this month and you're gonna commit yourself to these 50,000 words and you're gonna wake up every day knowing that you're gonna be there at the end of, of this month. The finish line with that winner's badge with that 50k or plus word count feeling like a freaking boss okay so number nine you you are just committing yourself to winning period okay on period you're waking up every day like i am winning i am in this i am doing this 
The moments when you feel the lowest, when you want to give up, that's when you go back to all my other points. That's when you get yourself a buddy, get yourself a support system. Make sure you're in your routine. Make sure you're writing consistently daily. You're not skipping days because trust me, you will regret it. You think you're going to catch up, but sometimes that catch up time just doesn't come. You're going to be taking your breaks. You're going to be eliminating distractions. You know, go back in this video and all the points I said before. But when number nine, you are going to do it. You have committed. You're doing it. Okay, you're doing it. I'm sorry. You're doing it. Okay, 50,000 words, here we come. And finally, reason number 10 why you are going to win NaNoWriMo this year is that simply you deserve it. You deserve it. The little writer self inside of you, whether you are already a published writer or a non-published writer, whether this is your first novel or your 15th or your 30th, whether you've done NaNoWriMo 11 million times or this is your first time, you owe yourself this month. If you haven't written anything else this year or you've written sporadically, maybe this hasn't been the best year for you creatively, maybe life has been hard. I've heard from a lot of people that 2019 has been kind of shitty, but you owe yourself this. You owe yourself, even if you've had the best year of your life, you owe yourself this time, this month. This is, <laughs> what was I gonna say? This is NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writers Month. You are a writer. You wanna write a novel. This is your time. So you're gonna take it and you're not gonna feel guilty, okay? Everything can wait till later. All your responsibilities, everything can wait. This is your time, this is for you. Own it, claim it, let's do it, guys. Oh, I can't wait. NaNoWriMo, here we come. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm thinking about doing a live. So if, if your notification all of a sudden just pops up and it's me, your girl, on live for the first day of nano because i deliberately i deliberately asked for that day off from work then yes it's me it's your girl and we are going live for the first day of nano just to give you guys some encouragement i might do like a write with me i don't know yet we'll see i still gotta sit down and apply all this stuff that i just said to y'all to myself i gotta look at my schedule and do all that other stuff all right so i will catch you guys tomorrow happy halloween once again and happy nanoing Mwah! bye guys